Okay, here we are again. This time we're going to do another Web 2.0 site, um, this live journal. And what we're going to do is, in the second video of this one, I'm going to show you how to save your URL of your profile page. Um, you're also going to save the RSS URL, and then that way you can ping them, bookmark them, submit them to the RSS aggregators. Um, but this part here is just your basic, simple filling out web form. Little uh, hint again, just to let you know that I always use the email address and my password that I'm using for my email address that I'm going to confirm it with as the username and password. Just keeps it a lot simpler when you're going to the template editor. Um, here we're going to do the birth date with some random numbers. Most pull downs just use a number as a as the value. And another thing you'll notice, I put 1 to 13 for the months. Um, I didn't know it, but one of the guys commented on my video that you have to put the one number higher than what you want your upper bound to be. So learn something new every day. Make sure that when you're filling in the the days that you don't put any number higher than 29 because if it happens to pick up February then there's only 29 days every four years or so and you also want to make sure that when you're filling in the birth year that you don't go higher than what you would be 18 years 18 years old a lot of websites won't let you join if you're not at least 18 years of age so Right here on Live Journal, you can see it said re required by law. You have to have your birth date. So, now we're gonna create the account in Live Journal. Live Journal's pretty regular Web 2.0 site. I use it in all my promotions, blogging platform. Um, it's just another high PR link to your website. So. Um, so here you can see we have a going to be a check for presence text. Email has been sent to you. That way, if something happens and you don't get to this page, you can go back and resubmit the data. Um, most of you that have already seen my other video on how to do email processing, this is. pretty simple here what what I'm doing is we're just going to find the subject line something that's particular to the website that you're trying to get the confirmation link right here it says welcome to live journal so make sure you control C to copy everything in these two these two boxes here and then you're going to take and copy the whole message and take it over to the regular expression builder so you can pull the link out of the email that you want. So here we're looking for something that says confirm or here we go, live journal confirm, copy that. Paste it in here and test it. Make sure you're getting the right link out of the email. And copy that regular expression, take it over to your email processing and paste it in the regular expression for selecting contents from the found message. And you want to highlight and copy this link right here because you're going to use it to confirm the email address that you just did when you're on your template editor. And here I forgot to do the email processing step in so luckily it doesn't erase anything when you switch screens so we'll go back over here and we'll just add the step into the template and pull everything down connect the dots 
Then we're going to go back up to the actual recording and paste that link in that we got from the regular expression builder to confirm the email address so that way whenever you're doing a bunch of runs of these when you have other emails and everything you're going to put your email in a file if that's the way you want to do it like I said I did it that way because it's easier okay here we got post an entry and I have spun title so I'm just going to pull the take line from the file where I have my titles and spin text copy that and you go up to strings and spin text paste that string that you just copied in there the file get string put it in here and it'll spin a title for you now you can click on the HTML link and you'll notice that you know, the project maker will copy that so you don't have to worry about putting HTML or links or anything in here and I didn't really set up anything for this this is an old promotion that I did so I just put a I was doing some links to forums so I have my comments in here and this is actually for a whole different promotion that I was doing but I just wanted to show you how to do, do the spin tax again just copy that file get string over here into the spin tax and it's going to put it in for you in HTML so all your links will show um, you also want to keep a keywords file so that you can put them in any of these WebTO sites that you're that you're posting to um, here's my keywords and we're going to post this and on LiveJournal what you're going to do is you're going to go up here and click the link where it says view the entry you're going to do that first and what that'll do is after the page loads if you look up an address bar it gives you that URL for that post and then we're going to click on our profile link that will give us the URL for our profile and then we're going to go over here and we're going to click the RSS link for our profile and that will bring you the URL that you need for the RSS to submit to the RSS aggregators we copy everything over, connect the dots and then in the second video we'll save all the information that we had to a file so we can pull it out later